Hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to sync Instagram posts with X, which is formerly Twitter. So are you also managing social media accounts? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here, I'm doing the same. I'm managing social media accounts of a tech company. And now I want that as soon as I post something on my Instagram account, automatically with the help of same post details, a new tweet should be created in my X also, which is formerly Twitter. So I'm going to do this because I want to enhance my audience engagement so to do this we are going to create a connection between Instagram and X to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli connect it is an amazing automation software so do you also wish to learn this process step by step then let me take you to my computer screen welcome to my screen so as you know in this video we are going to understand how to sync Instagram post with X which is formerly Twitter so as you know that I manage the social media accounts for a tech company specializing in automation solutions. So now to maintain the consistency and engage our audience effectively, I want to create this automation. So what I want is that as soon as I post something on my Instagram account, automatically that post should be shared on my X account too, which is formerly Twitter. So I'm going to do this because this can save me a lot of amount of time and also ensures that our audience on both the platforms stays updated with the latest content without any manual effort. So improving our efficiency and enhancing the customer engagement. So to do this, I have already opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connected in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the other one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I am an existing user, so I am going to click on sign in right over here. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I am going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account and now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation we are going to click on this button which is create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in so I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to sync Instagram post with X which is formerly Twitter and then we are going to click on create and now it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. So as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So that's why we can have only a single trigger right over here but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So basically action is the response towards the commands of our trigger. So now I'm going to select my trigger application which is Instagram because I want that as soon as a new post is made on my Instagram account automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm going to search for Instagram right over here and as you can see Instagram for business so we are going to select this and now it is asking me for the trigger event. So I'm going to select the trigger event as new media posted in my account and now we are going to click on connect connect and as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Instagram for business account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection and then connect with Instagram for business. And yes, you can see that we have successfully connected our Instagram for Business account as soon as we clicked on connect. And now it is saying Instagram account to use. So here you can see that my Instagram account's username is this. So I'm going to select the same right over here and then we are going to click on save and send test request. But before clicking on save and send test request, I'll just let you know that Instagram is a pooling based application. So pooling based application means that these applications will check for new data in certain amount of time. They are not going to check for new data instantly and over here in the case of Instagram for business it will take 10 minutes to check for new data and trigger the workflow so as soon as I'm going to click on save and send test request we are going to receive the last or the latest response made in my account so first we are going to do the test submission and then we are going to click on save and send test request button so first I'm going to open my Instagram account so now from here we are going to click on create and then post so now I'm going to post a picture and a caption on my Instagram account and then we are going to click on save and 
comments and test request to capture the response of the picture we posted right now. So now we are going to select the picture right from here. And over here, you can see that this is the picture I want. So I'm going to select it. And after selecting the picture, I'm going to adjust it a little. And after doing all of this, we are going to click on next. And as you can see that it is asking me for filters and adjustments. So I don't want to do that. So directly, I'm going to click on next. And now it is asking me for the caption. So I want the caption to be transform your business with automation. And over here, you can see the rest of the caption. And after entering the caption, we are going to click on share right over here because I want to share this post. And yes, you can see that it is saying sharing. We are going to wait for a few seconds. And yes, you can see your post has been shared. So now I'm going to click on this cross and then we are going to refresh this page to check for a new post. And yes, you can see that this is our new post and we have successfully shared this 15 seconds ago. So now I'm going back to my workflow and now we are going to click on save and send test request to capture the response of the post we just now published. And as you can see, over here is the response of the post we just now published. Over here, you can see the caption. So I'm going to expand it for you. Over here, you can see that this is the same caption we entered in our post over here you can see the instagram link of our post i'm going to expand it too over here you can see it over here you can also see the media url so yes with this our trigger step is successful and we have successfully created a connection between our instagram for business account and our publish workflow but i'm going to let you know that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes which is instagram for business will check for new data in every 10 minutes but if you want to reduce or increase this time we can go on this three dots and then set trigger time and from here you can select the trigger time maximum as 24 hours and minimum as 10 minutes so i'm going to keep it as 10 minutes only and then we are going to click on save and yes you can see updated successfully so this is my trigger time which is 10 minutes so now after doing this we are going to move on forward but before moving on forward i'll just let you know that x which is formerly twitter only accept the captions of 280 characters but as you can see that my instagram caption is really long and it is not 280 characters so to make this in 280 characters we are going to add a step between this so to do this we are going to move on forward to our action application so i'm going to select the action application as text formatted by pabli so it is a feature by pabli which helps you to format the text so i'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as truncate over here you can see truncate shortens the string given so i'm going to select this and then we are going to click on connect and as you can see then now it is asking me for the text so over here we are going to map our caption so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected instagram for business as our trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic can change with every new post made in my Instagram for business account. So I'm going to give you an example that over here in front of text, if I'm going to enter X, Y, Z, suppose this is my caption. So let's suppose that I'm going to enter this manually. Then this will not change with every new post made in my Instagram for business account because this is a static information and I've entered it manually. But if I'm going to map it from the previous response, over here you can see the caption. So over here, if I'm going to map it from the previous response, this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and now it's asking me for the maximum length so it is saying enter the maximum length number of characters or the text should be in the default value is 20 so i'm going to enter the maximum length as 250 characters because i want that after 250 characters the ellipse should be added which is basically the three dots so we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the skip characters so i'm going to leave it as blank because i don't want to skip any characters and now it is saying append ellipse so i'm going to keep it as true and now we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the append ellipse text so over here if you wish you can definitely add a text suppose i want that after 250 characters i want to add read more so i'm going to keep read more or learn more right over here to add that but i don't want to add anything so i'm going to leave it as blank and then we are going to click on save and send test request and yes, you can see type truncate and over here you can see the text which is in 250 characters. Over here you can see that the ellipse has been added right over here after 250 characters. So yes, with this we have successfully completed this action step and now we are going to move to our further action step. So I'm going to click on this action step button and over here for the action application we are going to select X which is formerly Twitter. So I'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as create tweet. And then we are going to click 
upon connect and as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your x account which is formerly twitter with your pablis workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with x formerly twitter and now it is asking me for the client id and the client secret and to get this we are going to read the help text and it is saying please read the documentation here to know how to create a client id slash secret so here you can see that there is a hyperlink which says learn more so we are going to go on this learn more and now it is opening forum of pabli so we are going to scroll and as you can see that over here you can find all these steps to get the client id and client secrets step by step so you have to follow these steps to do this so we are directly going to do this we are going to go on the developers twitter portal right over here and after opening this we are going to click on developer portal and over here from the left side bar we are going to go on project and apps and we are going to select our app and over here we are going to go on keys and tokens and now you can see my client id and client secret so we are going to copy both of this and we are going to paste it in our workflow so i'm going to copy this and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow which is client id and we are going to do same for the client secret too and then we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save it is asking me for some permissions over here you can see it is asking me for all of these permissions so i'm going to click on authorize app and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on this because pabli is safe and as soon as we are going to click on this you can see that we have successfully connected our x account which is formerly twitter account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the message so it is asking me like what the caption or the message i want to send as a tweet so we are going to map it from the text formatter by pabli step over here you can see the results so we are going to map this so this is the message i want to send and i also want to attach the instagram account url so i'm going to scroll and we are going to attach the post url too so we are going to move on forward and over here you can see the same so we are going to attach this too and now we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the code tweet id so i'm going to leave it as blank because this is not the required field and over here you can see that it is asking me for the direct message deep link so again we are going to leave it as blank because both of these are not the required fields and then we are going to click on save and send test request again and as soon as we are going to click on this you can see that we have received the positive response that we have successfully made a new post on our twitter account where you can see the caption and over here you can also see the instagram post link which we have attached right over here in our message so now this means that we have successfully made the tweet so i'm going to open my twitter and check for the new tweet you can see yes we have made the new post over here you can see the caption that we entered and over here you can also see the instagram post link so i'm going to open this and yes you can see that this is the same post so yes with this our workflow is successful and i'll just test this workflow once and this time i'm going to give you a real time example so to do this we are going to do another test submission so to do the test submission i'm going to open my instagram account and we are going to click on cross and over here we are going to create a new post so i'm going to click on create post we are going to select the image over here you can see the image so i'm going to select this image and then we are going to click on next and again we are going to click on next and we are going to enter the caption right over here i want the caption to be this and now after entering this we are going to click on share again and as soon as you are going to click on share it is saying sharing and now we are going to wait for a few seconds again and yes you can see post has been shared so this means that we have successfully made another test submission and now instagram has sent the details of our post to our workflow pabli captured the response triggered the workflow and further created a new post on our x account too which is formerly twitter so i'm going to open my x account and check for the new post created but over here you can see that as the instagram for business a pooling application so we are going to wait for 10 minutes and then we are going to check for it but this time we are not going to open our workflow and click on save and send test request i'll directly open my x account after 10 minutes and now after waiting for 10 minutes i'm going to open my x account and we are going to re to refresh this page right over here so i'm going to refresh it and yes you can see a new post has been created with the new caption and over here you can see the new post link too so i'm going to open the instagram link of that post and yes you can see that it is the same post so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow so i'll just summarize the workflow for you once for the trigger application we selected instagram for business and then for the trigger event we selected new media posted in my account and now for the action application we selected text formatter by pabli and then for the action event we selected truncate and again for the action application we selected x which is formerly twitter and then for the action event we selected create 
a tweet because I wanted that as soon as a new post is posted on my Instagram for business account, automatically my workflow should be triggered and with the help of the Trunket by Pabli, the caption should be shortened in 250 characters and with the help of the same caption and the post URL, a new tweet should be created on my X account too, which is formerly Twitter. So I did this because this saves time and ensures that our followers on both the platforms stays updated with our latest content without any manual effort, improving our efficiency and enhancing the customer engagement. And yes, we were successful with our workflow. Over here, you can see the two posts I created during this video with the help of my workflow. So yes, if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video. And for your reference, I'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.